Randy, St. Thomas can stay in the MIAC for the next two school years. So that means starting in the fall of 2021, St. Thomas will be in a different conference, possibly a different division, and traditions such as the Tommy Johnny football game will be in jeopardy. A lot of feelings on campus about St. Thomas University getting the boot from the Mayak Conference can be summed up like this. I mean, if you can't beat them, I guess you got to kick them out. The press release from the Minnesota Intercollegiate Athletic Conference basically gives that reason, athletic competitive parity, for why the other school's presidents forced St. Thomas out. The Tommies have won 56% of all Mayak championships over the last five years. We can't beat you, so we're going to get rid of you. Yeah, I feel like there's always going to be someone who should be the team to beat, who's going to be the best. So like when you take us out, like this doesn't seem realistic. There will always be someone that's there. These three are freshmen on the women's hockey team. Their senior season will be St. Thomas's first outside of the Mayak. The uncertainty is hard. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I think the hardest part is just not knowing what's going to happen to us next. That and the potential loss of tradition, like the annual St. John's St. Thomas football game. I talked with the St. John's athletic director. He said he's very disappointed St. Thomas was kicked out of the conference. He pointed out the decision was made at the presidential level, not among the athletic directors. And he said he'll do whatever they can to preserve the Tommy Johnny game. But some student athletes tell us they think it's time for St. Thomas to move on, especially if it means going Division II. The general thing that I've heard is people don't really like going to the second half of the games just because the score will run up against a lot of the smaller teams that we play. So you think moving up might not be a bad thing? No, I don't think so. I think uh, better competition is good for us. Now, I tried reaching the presidents of the 12 other schools that forced St. Thomas out. The Augsburg president told me they aren't doing interviews. The other schools, some of the other schools, though, were prepared to leave if St. Thomas didn't. And the Augsburg president says that the most important thing was maintaining the conference as fully as they could. Now, next year's Tommy Johnny football game is scheduled to be played at Allianz Field. Both schools say that they're trying to find ways to continue the rivalry beyond that. Back to you. Thank you, Lou.